Brothers and sisters, we must bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord and little infant baby Jesus, please forgive me in my soul for I have sinned. I have purchased a car that is not a Mercedes Benz. Or is it? Just gorgeous. All right, folks, you know, that was just a joke. And you also know this is what a Mercedes looks like, okay? Yeah, it's got the three-pointed star. It's got some cool wheels, nice little shape and a design. So did I buy another Mercedes or not? Here's a hint. There's one. There's two. And look at this right here on top. <gasps> It is not a three-pointed star. Oh, hell All right, no. so did you guys see Randy's video when I pulled up to his house? Yeah, I pulled up, I was dragging this, and the first thing he did was give me a hard time about it, okay? So take a look at the video, and then you guys can decide. Oh yeah, I had one of those Popeye's chicken sandwiches. <laughs> they were so good, it was huge. It was the size of my head. All right, Wait, I need that battery. Video. Let's swap this batteries. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I want that. that. Like one, <laughs> yeah, it looks like a good battery. 10 to 14. That's Never a good mind. Vintage. You can keep yeah. that one. <laughs> and when the 722.6 starts leaking, it leaks into here, uh -huh. all over the relay module, and then it leaks under the carpet. There, <laughs> what? there we go. That's no wonder your cars run so well. <laughs> See, Mercedes. Yeah, all Mercedes. And I'm not a huge Mercedes fan. I mean, I like the cars. I just, I truthfully don't like working on them. That's my thing. I really don't care for working on this man. He, he's a masochist. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, we're back to the crossfire. Okay, take a look at this. I want to show you something. This is the key to my new crossfire. This, excuse the thumbnails, I've been digging around in the car parts place. This is the key to my ML500. Look at that exactly the same yes this car right here is an slk in crossfire clothing yep they are a little weird some people like them some people don't okay we've all heard the reference that they look like from this this right here this angle right here what do they look like okay, let me go over here and you guys can see yep i can find a picture yeah, they look like a dog taking a poo. But I've never ever looked at these. I have never considered them. And lo and behold, Randy buys two. So, because Randy bought two, I had to buy one. I don't know why. I just, he just kind of brought them to my awareness. And he loves them. And he knows what he's talking about. So, yeah, I took the jump. Yeah, a big jump for me. I don't know anything about these. As far as price goes, cha-ching, there it is right there, folks. Yeah, not a whole lot of money. I think it was $8.45 out the door. Yeah, basically, I won the auction <laughs> at um, $200. The owner countered at six, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and then I countered at four, and I thought, you know what, for another $200, I'll be sure to get it. So I went ahead and I agreed to their $600, and then you add the auction fees, and that's a little bit more. Okay, so let's take a look, look inside. First thing you'll notice, we're missing a door handle. Randy says these parts can be pretty expensive. Okay, so we're going to take a mental note of that. Okay, then we're going to have a little seat right here. I've never sat in a crossfire. I've had SLKs out the wazoo. But I've never had a crossfire. And I don't know why there's a star. Why does this car get a star? The car star. I don't know. But here we go. That's what the um, instrument cluster looks like. And this is, that is gross. That's really dirty gross. Okay, so here's the center console. <gasps> Look, it is not an automatic. Yeah, this is a standard which many people cannot drive anymore. Aha! All right, anything in the uh, glove box? Oh, 
Okay, well, apparently somebody thought their car stank a little bit. Okay, so we've got that. There's the other door handle. That's okay. The seats are okay. The stitching is coming out on some of them. Um, this is a little torn right here. I don't know what this is. I don't know. It doesn't even go down. Oh, look. Okay, I'm a, I apologize about the state of my hands. I'll show you why they're in such a horrible condition in just a moment, because somebody has been at the junkyard. Um, yeah, it's a hard top. Look at that. You want to see what's in the back? Ooh, I don't know. I didn't even know this was here. What's in here? Okay, nothing. Nothing in there. This is kind of cramped, I think, but this the seat is all the way forward. And I don't know if a little short person had the car before me. I will tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the hood and look, if you can see, it's a little red door pull, just like a Mercedes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I will say I like the tires. Yeah, they are nice. Um, we have a dent right here. Not major, not minor, but it's a dent. I kind of like the dual exhaust right there. Let me stand on the trailer and we'll show you around. You get a little bitty trunk. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. The struts work. I hope we have a spare tire. That's a very significant part right there, according to Randy. So we'll make sure that stays put. Um, okay. A jack and a spare and a clothes hanger. Mopar. Oh, look, it says Mopar, but 2000 Damler Chrysler Corporation. Okay. And I'm guessing under here, I'm guessing I don't get a spare tire. What? Does this not come out? What? You don't get one in a crossfire? That's crazy talk. That is crazy. Okay, let's... And that doesn't go down either. Okay, is there a spare? I don't know. Is there a spare to, to share? Nope. Nothing. Okay. That's all right. Let's close this. Do you like the color? I do. What is it? Um, sapphire blue clear metallic? Yeah. Okay, now, Randy did a video on this and he could not open the passenger door, and this is why. Okay, this guy got pushed back a little bit. Okay, see how this is pushed? Okay, um, here's where the damage occurred. See, she's a little low. Yeah, she's riding a little bit low right there. And I just noticed that the bumper is missing a piece. Oh, crap, Ola, dagnabbit. Okay, now, the real issue is right there. You guys have any idea? Can you see? Okay. Look, if you can go back in here, see? See right in there? That's your lower control arm, and it's all broken up. It's all broken up. And there's a big chunk out of the tire. I don't know if the wheel's gonna be any good. I don't know. But I'm in a pickle. You know what that means, right? You're in a pickle, you're in a bind, you're up a, you're up crap creep without a uh, crap creek without a paddle. Yeah. I can't get the car off the trailer. So I'm going to have to fix that. Fortunately, I went to LKQ and this, well, now Mike has locked the key. Don't look at my license plate. Here, let's unlock the Mighty ML and I'll show you what I found at LKQ. Ta -da! <gasps> it is everything that goes on the left front part of the suspension and a door card with part of a handle right there. Okay, so those of you who are very astute, lower control arm, spring, shock absorber, upper control arm, this is your knuckle, this is your rotor, this is your brake caliper. I just took the whole thing. Yeah, how much did all this cost me? 
right there. I think it was like 200 bucks, but they marked them all so I could bring back what I do not need, okay? I also got some covers because my, look at that, the fog lights are missing. So I thought I could just cover those until I find some good ones. But Randy kept telling me that parts are hard to find because this was only made 04 to 08, I think, maybe? Okay, so that is coming up next. But let me show you if I can figure out how to open. See, I don't know how this works. I don't know. There we go. Okay, if you're watching Randy's video, you saw us kind of take a look at this. But let's count all of the Mercedes emblems. There's a Mercedes emblem. There's a Mercedes emblem. This is a typical Mercedes fuse, block, fuse box. This is where the battery goes. I had to go buy another H6 battery. It's not an H8 like other Mercedes. It's an H6, so it's like 10 bucks cheaper. Um, there's a Mercedes emblem. And that's your typical Mercedes engine right there. And it looks grody and it looks ugly. And now, the big reveal, how many miles do we have on her? Um, I've forgotten, I think it's a hundred and, there's another Mercedes emblem right there, 180,000, but she is a standard transmission, so I think she'll be fine. Okay, so this is it. What do you think? Goodbye? Terrible bye? Have I lost my mind? I don't know. So at $845 plus two for all the suspension pieces if I use it all, if I use them all, and another tire, I'll probably be in this maybe $1,200, which is not bad for a cool car. Okay, now, we do have these, the covers here that go across this one and that one. The cover that goes across the top of the windshield is missing. Randy said that is a bear to find, okay? This is the one that was in the trunk. These things just come off and they go flying down the highway. Okay, so there it is. Do you like it? Yay! Do you hate it? Boo! Let me know, okay? And if you can help me get out of this pickle jar, I would appreciate that. Okay, somehow I gotta lift the car, remove the wheel, fix the control arm, all while it's right here and all in a matter of hours because this little dude is due back at the U-Haul store. I don't want to pay a late fee on that. Okay? But wait, there's more. Yeah, I forgot the most important part. Let's see if it starts. Okay, so we'll take our Mercedes key. We're going to stick it into the Chrysler. We're going to put it in neutral. And let's see what happens. Okay, Randy said this, ra this uh, started when he was at the Copart. I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at that. Can you hear? Look at that. How do you make the seat go backwards? Okay, here we go. Look. She runs pretty good. She does run good. Okay. So we're gonna call that a win. That's a major win. Gold star for the Crossfire. We got lots of lights on. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Have I lost my mind or am I just expanding my horizons? Yeah. Um, I'm sitting here in the parking lot near a Coles and a Five Guys and a Starbucks, and somehow I got to get this car off of the trailer. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. So, that's going to happen in the next video. So, please let me know what you think. Is this a goodbye? Is this not a goodbye? I've asked about 10 times because I'm very unsure of myself right now. I don't know what to expect with this. I really don't know. You know, sometimes I can just kind of touch cars and I get a feeling for them. Um, this one gives me good vibes once I get it off the trailer. But getting it off the trailer is going to be a pain in the bootay. So, thank you very much. Thanks for joining. If you're newly subscribed, I appreciate this. I went up like almost 100 in a day. Not the 5,000 a month that uh, Sir Randy gets. He is the car guru, YouTube God, and I thank him for all the help he's helping me with. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you. So please like if you haven't, please like and subscribe 
yeah, it's a two-for-one combo here. Mm. So have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>